最初は流されて始めたアニメとゲームもう今ではいいものだと思っていますこれからは一層努力して自分から「公平お兄ちゃん結婚して!」と言えるよう頑張りたいとトップ7ベストブロー・デュオーズ・イン・アニメ。If you've been an anime fan for a long time, you may be familiar with the power of friendship. It is used in animes like Fairy Tale and One Piece, or mostly just shown in animes in general, where the main character overcomes inconceivable odds thanks to the bond they share with each other. It's beautiful when done right. Now, You may be wondering that this video is going to be about these moments. Well, not exactly. What we're going to talk about here are the dynamic bro duos whom everybody loves and admires. Ready for it? All right, let's talk about them. Ka. Uze. Number seven Saitama and Genos, One Punch Man. Starting from number 7, the first one we have is Saitama and Genos. As you guys know, not a lot of people in the world of One Punch Man are aware of Saitama's true strength and capabilities. They simply just don't know. Only a few people know about his true strength, and even fewer of them are actually acquainted with him. But then there is Genos, the only one who has always sticked by his side no matter what. Yes, Saitama's useless advice isn't going to make Genos any stronger, but that's not what this is about. When it comes to these two, the relationship isn't actually that of a master and his discipline. Indeed, that is their dynamic, but their true friendship is that of friends. It's similar to Luffy's relationship with Zoro, in the sense that Genos has absolute faith in his master. Still, their dynamic wouldn't have worked if it weren't for the master discipline relationship they started out with. The thing is that there is no way a person with that kind of power can keep themselves sane. Genos was always there to help Saitama stay sane, to feel normal. No wonder he was so devastated when Garo killed Genos in the ominous future. To Saitama, Genos was a friend, someone who he was clinging to for support. All in all, the relationship between this duo only gets better and better the further you are into the story. <laughs> Number 6 Mashiro and Takagi Bakuman. Next up, we have Mashiro and Takagi from Bakuman. For those of you who don't know, Bakuman was created by the same duo who created Death Note. It's equally good if I say so myself. Alright, so what makes Mashiro and Takagi one of the best bro duos in anime? It's the way they come together and bring the best of each other. Their story starts when Takagi recognizes Mashiro's talent and asks him to aim for the top of the manga world with him. It takes a bit of convincing, but Mashiro winds up declaring this dream to his longtime crush. They both know that they have to take it seriously because unless his manga receives an anime adaptation and she voice acts the main heroine, he won't be able to marry her. Of course, it's not that deep, but for a 14 year old kid, it is. From there on out, these two give everything. And when I say everything, I mean everything. For the next 10 years, all they do is create manga together. They fail again and again, but through it all, they never stop. Even when they fight and separate for a brief period of time, they still eventually come back to each other and create manga again. It's beautiful and awe inspiring. <laughs> Number 5 Thorfinn and Einar, Vinland Saga. At number 5, we have Thorfinn and Einar. These two may be recent additions considering how the second season of Vinland Saga just ended a few months ago, but keep in mind that Vinland Saga's manga has been ongoing since 2005. Both of them have come a long way. Believe it or not, Einar is the first friend Thorfinn makes ever since he left Iceland as a child, but now they are each other's best friends. The brotherhood is so strong that they even call each other brother. Thinking back, if it weren't for Einar, Thorfinn may have never escaped the state of cryptic apathy he had been in the years following Askeladd's death. 
It was Einar's optimism, compassion, and support that helped Thorfinn get out of that endless darkness. It's the kind of brotherhood that can make even a grown-ass man shed a few tears. <laughs> Number 4, Simon and Kamina, Gurun Lagan. After Thorfinn and Einar, we have Simon and Kimina at number 4. I know guys, I know, Kimina doesn't get as much screen time as Simon, but let's not forget that Kimina's presence and influence was still always there. You see, Kimina is easily amongst the most charismatic and energetic individuals in the anime medium. Literally everything he does reeks of power and confidence, and whoever he is on screen, he takes all the attention. The man is simply larger than life. Then there is Simon. He is a polite kid who obviously doesn't have the same kind of confidence as his sworn brother Kamina, especially because he is still a child. However, the unflinching amount of faith Kamina put in this little boy was always just enough to pull him out of his doubts and straight into the vast unknown. If you're having a hard time picturing what we're talking about, you may need to watch or re-watch Gurren Lagann. It's basically free therapy, and I'm not even kidding about this. Number 3, Itadori and Toro, Jujutsu Kaisen. Moving on, we have Itadori and Toro at number 3. Now this dynamic duo was actually kind of surprising, even though it shouldn't have been. Itadori is a simple man with a simple taste in women. Toro is also a simple man. He judges other men based on their taste in women. Both of them bond together over their mutual appreciation for tall women with big butts, and the rest, as they say, is history. No, seriously, think back to the moment when Itadori tells him the answer to his question. Toto's mind instantly visualizes a school life that they never had, a past that they never had, a reality in which he and Yuji were best buddies through and through. He sheds tears as he realizes that Yuji is his best friend and immediately turns against his fellow students from Kyoto Jujutsu High. It is surreal enough to put a smile on your face. まず、これを。最初は流されて始めた。アニメとゲーム。もう今では良いものだと思っています。これからは一層努力して自分から公平お兄ちゃん結婚して。と言えるよう頑張りたいと。ざけんなこら。Number 2. Ayori and Kohei Grand Blue. How many of you have watched Grand Blue? Have many of you read its manga? Guys, I'm telling you, Iori and Kyobe are genuinely the best comedic duo we have. Yes, I've watched Gintama and all the other popular comedic animes, but these two are something else. Their relationship begins rather awkwardly. When they first see each other, both of them think to themselves, this is one guy they'll stay away from. Well, as fate would have it, their lives get perfectly aligned when both are basically swindled and tricked into joining Peekaboo with each other. From there on out, it's a tale of animosity, but deep down, they do deeply care for each other. Number 1. Gone and Killua, Hunter x Hunter. And finally, the bro dynamic duo we have at number one is Gon and Killua. Guys, these two personify what true friendship is. There is no other way to go about it. While Luffy and Zoro are badasses, and there is something to be said about Naruto and Sasuke, those two friendships aren't nearly as close to the friendships between Gon and Killua. Just like how they grow as individuals, their friendships also grows, they have Phenomenal chemistry and genuine appreciation for each other. Truly the best bro dynamic in all of anime. Wait, 
Can you name a better friendship than these two? I'll wait. Go and help yourselves in the comment section down below. I'll be looking forward to reading them. As always, a like and subscribe will be most welcome, and if you're feeling particularly giddy about these anime recommendations, that super thanks button is always ready to be pressed by you at any moment now. Yup, any and all support is genuinely appreciated, and with that said, I'll see you guys on my next video.